Greetings friends, uh, we at Conceptual Orthopedics uh, recently released the Orthopedic Theory Examination book uh, in April. So after that, uh, we have received a lot of uh, queries from the students on how to go about this theory book. So this theory book actually has the previous repeat questions which were asked in the various universities across India. So the last seven years question papers were taken and the questions were answered and then put it into this particular book. So this book will be most useful towards the end of your uh, three years course of uh, post-graduation just before your theory exams. So the first year students were asking us uh, then uh, how is this particular book useful for us. So our suggestion uh, for theory uh, preparations is that you start your preparation right from first year itself. So you have this book in which the major repeats are already mentioned. So during your residency, you might get a lot of new topics or the topics that are not mentioned in this book while you do your residency. So those questions you can add on to this particular book. You can make notes out of it. You can go through various reference books like Campbell's or Tagjidan. Whatever topics are mentioned there, make it into a concise note and add to this particular book. This will make your theory preparation towards the end quite easy. During the last three months, it is not wise to go to these books again because it consumes a lot of time because those are reference books. So we have made a concise book which is almost uh, around 400 pages. This particular book you can carry around easily into your wards as well as your OPD. Whatever new topics you come across, you can mention to this particular book and then make a note out of it and towards the end your revision will be quite simple. So for theory exams, your way of preparation should be that the answers that you mention in your theory answer paper should be point wise. It should be more of flow charts. More diagrams will give you more marks. So the knowledge that you have, you should be making it into a concise form and representing it to the examiner so that you get maximum amount of marks from your theory paper. So that is the way you prepare for your theory exam. So I hope this particular theory book is going to be very useful for all the students to prepare for your theory exams. Along with this book, we also have provided a trauma book, which is actually paper three of your orthopedic theory examination. A lot of classifications, different types of classifications, how to approach trauma is being mentioned in that book. And that is the same thing that you have to prepare for your theory exams. Recently, if you look into the previous questions, you can see that a lot of tests are being asked. For example, various tests done for the SI joint examination, various tests that are done for your knee instability, shoulder instability. All these questions are coming into your theory as well. So we already have given you the practical examination book from which you can answer all these questions. So these three books in a combined form will help you prepare for your theory examinations so that it will be easy for you to pass your theory exams in the first shot itself. So happy learning guys. All these three books along with the MCQ book will be provided by Conceptual Orthopedics to you. Make sure that you prepare well for your exams so that you can come out in flying colors. Thank you.